Hi everyone, this is Anne-Marie, and for Wellness Today, I will be talking about anxiety and giving ways to cope with anxiety during hard times. So the first thing to know is that during times of change of environment and day-to-day -day lives, anxiety levels can go up. So as we are in a uh, difficult situation and that is full of change, our anxiety levels can uh, be going up and that is totally normal. So what do we do to cope with this anxiety? The first thing to do to cope with this anxiety is to reach out to people around us. So if school is stressing you out, reach out to your teachers. I cannot count the amount of times during my high school career where I have reached out to a teacher and said, hey, this is too much, I can't get this project done, this is too big of a workload, or I don't really understand what's going on. And every single teacher I have reached out to has said, okay, let's work on this. I don't want you to be stressed out. If you're stressed about other things and you just want to talk to people, reach out to your friends. Your friends are here to listen. Even if you can't talk to them in person, good friends will want to listen and talk to you over the phone or over text just because you guys love each other. Uh, talk to family. Even if you're really tired of your family, a good way to relieve your stress is to have a face-to-face -face conversation with someone, just letting out everything that is stressing you out. Another way to relieve stress um, during classes is when I bring in my coping bag. It has llamas on it, so of course it always makes me happy. Um, and I have little things that I use in here to help me feel less stressed during class. So I have my penguin squishy that I can squeeze, um, and I have my little ball that I can play with in my fingers, and I have my silly putty egg. And I like using these if I'm having a video presentation or a teacher's giving me a lot of information and I'm just really stressed out and then I can let out the stress from my body through my hands onto my squishy. So what are some other ways that you can relieve stress during these times? Well, I will show you some with the help of my dad. One idea is read a book. No, not the book assigned by your English teacher. Read a book that interests you and takes the stress off of your mind. Another thing you can do is to get active. As much as we may hate doing it, good exercise can take your mind off of things and the sun outside can give a good source of vitamin D that can make you feel better. Do something with family. Even if you feel that you're tired of family, nothing relieves stress like bonding and laughter. Another thing to do is pet an animal. If you don't want to pet it, you can just be with an animal. And if you don't have a pet, you can just improvise. A stuffed animal will suffice. Write out a list of everything you need to get done that day in the morning. It puts all the jumbled and stressful thoughts out of your head and into a spot where it feels solidified. Pick up a new hobby. Nothing too stressful, of course, but something that puts your mind off what's stressing you out. Puzzles, embroidery, sewing, baking, cooking, drawing, crocheting, solitaire, even ping pong. Try to take a break from your screen. As annoying and ridiculous as it sounds, the added stress from spending the entire school day online could be bad for your eyes and body. Often, if you step away from the task that is stressing you, which could be school, it may put your mind at ease. And of course, talk to people. Even if you feel there's no one to reach out to about your stress, there always is. Your teachers, faculty, family, and friends would all love to listen and care more than you think. Remember, even in troubled times, we are still a community, and you are still loved and valued as much as you are in regular times. Thanks so much for joining me and my dad today, and remember to stay safe and stay inside. You got this.